Hey guys, I'm here with Matt Bessett. Uh, he is the uh, reigning CES uh, world champion, and you're a two-time champion, aren't you? I am. Yep. I uh, oh. I won it back in 2017, defended it uh, two times within nine months, and then had to vacate it because I got signed to the UFC. Absolutely. And uh, you're not are are you under contract with CES now or? I am. Yep. Okay, so your next fight will be for defending the title. Very, very likely, yes. In the pink shorts, I hope. Always, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I have to look at my record. I think I'm 11 and 0 with pink shorts on. Oh, that's crazy. Hell yeah. Um, you were signed for a was it a three fight deal with the UFC when you were back with them? Yeah, it's the way they do deals is like um, your standard generic deal is up to three fights. So it okay. says three fights, but they can pretty much cut you at any time they want. So I okay. did two of them. Uh, I lost two close decisions, and they were like, all right, got no room for you. Yeah, I definitely thought you won, won your last fight. So, Me too. Um, yeah, but you never know. I'm what pretty sure Peterson did too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of the people, a lot of the judges are getting really corrupt. Um, I, I think like it's getting out of control. They definitely need to get a handle on the judges. Uh, coming off that, well, who did you think won between Jones and Rays just to come off the bad judging? I mean, if I had never seen fighting before and I watched that fight, I yeah. think I'd probably pick Dominic Reyes. Um, oh. But because I know how judging is scored, yeah. um, and you know, John doesn't wear he doesn't wear damage um, no. that poorly. No. It's a, he wears it really well. Like he get hit, mm -hmm. but you can't really see it. He may get hurt, but he doesn't show it. So, um, yeah, he was getting hit pretty hard, but you couldn't really tell if you're a judge and you're not super educated on, on yeah. damage, um, and what it does to a fighter, then I, I don't think you'd score it appropriately. Absolutely. Um, and, oh my gosh, I'm saying absolutely. There's an inner joke in the circle that I say absolutely too much through interviews. So I apologize for that. <laughs> say it 50 more times. <laughs> I should just to bother me. <laughs> just um, say it. <laughs> I've always wanted a curiosity through Dana White versus Coker. Um, what promotion did you prefer to work with since you were with Bellator and the UFC? Was it, was anyone better to handle like contract wise and behind the scenes? Um, well, I wasn't with Bellator when Coker was in charge. Well, I was, but shortly. I yes. was with them when I had when I was in the tournament. I was with uh, Bjorn Rebney. Um, oh, Rebney, yeah. And I think it was my last fight. It may be two fights, but I think it was my last fight where I was uh, with Scott. And I never really got to speak with Scott. So if you're an undercard guy in Bellator, they don't, they don't give a shit. And that's pretty much the reason why I haven't fought for Bellator again. They've wanted me to fight for that. Yeah. But I'm like, listen, man, I'm like, I'm not an undercard fighter. So uh, if, if you're not going to put me on a main card, then yeah. I'll like, go where I, I, I understand. Um, so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so you, would you say your biggest win, uh, when I first seen you fight, actually, it was over Diego Nunes, who was a t highly touted featherweight at the time. Uh, was that one of your biggest wins you'd say? At the time? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I would say that, um, I was, uh, it was hours before I actually was to fight him probably minutes before I left the hotel to go to the venue on fight day. And mm -hmm. I just, for the first time ever, I like, I was afraid, you know, like, this guy has done so much, and I haven't yeah. done anything yet. And I, I, I stood in the mirror. I, I talked to myself in the mirror. I'm like, what are you afraid of? It's Absolutely. just you and I right here. What are you afraid of? And I could only be, like, uh, completely um, truthful with myself. There's no lies. You can't lie to yourself, you know? Yeah. And I pretty much said I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of everything I worked for, hard for mm -hmm. and going to, to shit. I'm afraid of, you know, winning all these fights in a row, and then all of a sudden – I get tested against a good guy and I'm not as good as everybody thought it was. And, mm -hmm. and I'm like, and then I was like, all right, well, it's all, it's all out on the floor. Now, what can you do? You just go out there and do the fucking best you can. And, Absolutely. and what more can you ask of that? Nothing. So I was like, I put things into perspective. I went out there and I shined. Yeah. you had a great performance in that fight for sure. Thanks. Man. Um, that, that was the semifinals that, that fight. Pretty What's sure. That? It was for the stuff. It was a tournament that fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was the uh, very first round of the tournament. Okay. Is that your favorite win, or what would be your favorite win that you have? Um, or is there is there a fight that is most memorable to your career? 
probably that one. Probably yeah. that one. Uh, my first UFC fight was pretty awesome. Um, had I had I got the victory, I think it would have been better. <laughs> Absolutely. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think it was probably the Diego Nunez fight. Okay. Have you been in contact with the UFC since you just got your title back at CES? Um, no, no, not yet. They they usually contact your manager or yourself, right? Um, you know, it's UFC, and there's a bunch of guys just like me. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, there are. Um, you know, uh, I'm the only one that wears pink, but they don't let me wear pink in the fight. So. The Reebok, I, yeah. I don't know if I stand out to them, you know. So. Um, all you can really do is just kind of stay in their ear. And that's kind of what I do. I go, hey, yeah. Sean, what's up? I'm over here. I'm ready to fight. Yeah. Let's go. You know, that's all I can really do. Yeah. Uh, before the COVID tragedy happened, did you have anything lined up to defend your title against someone? Um, bef- I'm sorry, before which one? Uh, so were you set to defend your title at all? Was there any discussions about your next fight to defend it? Um, oh, before I got to the UFC? No, before you, COVID happened. So defend your CES belt. Oh, 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 oh. Um, yes. Or you were in talks for a new fight. Yeah. We were talking about, um, honestly, I don't want to butcher his name, so I, I can't say it. Um, he's from South Korea, and he's on like an eight or nine fight win streak. He's like 18 or 19 and four. Um, wow. And, uh, and, um, he has like a, what seems like a Russian name. I don't, it's all over the place. So I don't want to butcher it. So, um, but he's, he's very good. And that was the guy I was hoping to get matched up with, but, um, obviously the coronavirus got in the way. And what have you been doing through the coronavirus? Are you still training? Do you have a gym that you could go to? Well, I, I own my own gym along with uh, okay. two of my partners, so I can go okay. there whenever I want, but it's. It's almost an hour away from me. So having oh, a family, okay. yeah, having a family that poses a, a little bit of a, an annoyance living okay. uh, so far away from the gym. So if I'm working, I don't go there. I actually get to, uh, there's a, a gym. I work at a prison. There's a, a gym inside the prison that I go oh, to wow. after midnight and I'll hit the bag there and I'll, I'll lift if I want to lift. I'll, uh, you know, I'll do calisthenics there. Um, just to like keep my mind right, but mm-hmm. I haven't hit anybody in over a month. I haven't grappled with anybody in over a month. Um, no partners at all. It's just social distancing. You got to get one of those headbands that you punch the ball. <laughs> with the uh, the tennis ball. Yeah, they're selling them yeah. on Wish right now. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm trying to think of everything that I can actually do. That's a good idea. Absolutely. Uh, and well, I, I keep saying absolutely. Um, so Dude, if I you don't say it question. 20 more times, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> one more question for you. Actually, I do have a question about the, the job. Um, what do you do at the prison? Just if I could ask. Oh, uh, That's got to be an – okay. That's got to be a pretty interesting sight to see the people there. And uh, they're social distancing at least, right? It's impossible at a prison. Yeah. It's impossible. Um, so, like – um, it depends on the block that I'm in or the post that I have. If I'm a hallway officer, it's a little bit easier. Oh, cut out there for a the second. Block. Got me? Yeah. Wow, that's intense. Um, but I, if I'm a nope. hallway officer, uh, the social distancing is a little different. If I'm a, a block officer, then you're like right next to these guys all the time. So they give us a mask. You can bring your own mask, whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've been doing like the N95 mask. Um, and okay. Like, kind of a, um, a, a, a one we made up um, by ourselves over the top of it. So but there's really only, only so much you can do. If you're going to get coronavirus, you're probably going to get it. That's what it seems like. At least. That's why I said it, it's airborne. You, uh, I don't think a mask is going to help too much. It could get through the eyes. There's other ways. So if you're going to get it, it sucks. But yeah. um, I, I really appreciate your time and uh, we'll keep in touch for sure. Yeah, man.